Well, just behind me and across this little street here is Cafe Meld, Meld Cafe. They have a whole bunch of vegan things. I already had the chili tofu, and that was an oily, spicy, satisfying dish. We're gonna go there and have a proper meal now. Yet another one of the many options available to you in the Oroville Village and Oroville area. This is the Kima Pao. Mm. Closest thing I've had to it is in my store, like uh, miso pao. So, it's a creamy coconut base, spicy as all get up, with little bits of uh, minced Nutrilla type uh, soy protein. Very, very good. It has a chewy, meaty texture um, and a really, really nice flavor with the bread. Really, really good. That's an excellent dish. We've got a chickpea falafel salad right here. Looks very lovely. Sometimes in India, the salads are more just chunks of vegetables that come on a plate, which has been really good and refreshing, especially the cucumbers. I love that. That's a really delicious dish. But it's like soft chickpea in the middle, breaded on the outside, really, really crunchy. The dressing has like a garlic creaminess, very much like Mediterranean or Greek dressing. Really tasty. Order that. We also ordered a Thai green curry, which um, is green. It has Thai stuff in it. A nice tofu and veg. Looks pretty correct to me. Smells right too. With a little taste. It tastes like an arrow and D style paste pre-made paste, but delicious. It's done right. The coconut milk here is nice and fresh. A great snack, nice rice, and um, definitely worth ordering as well. The enormous vegan double chocolate. It kind of looks like a, a mousse or a brownie. Ooh. So it's a little bit warm on the bottom and cool on top. Oh, and it's very, very rich and chocolatey. My goodness. Yeah, recommend. Rich and chocolatey. It's like a brownie with a thick layer of fun. As you know, I've always recommended in my zine, which is still available, and uh, everywhere else. You can dessert a little bit of salt. Tiny, tiny little bit of salt, and that really brings, especially chocolate, that really brings out the flavors. They've done that here. It's excellent. I'm gonna rip into it. Oh my gosh, it's oozing. Oh my god. Really rich. Today we've come to Plenty, a vegetarian restaurant with lots of vegan options, run by the famous Tanto. Around here they're known for their Italian and French style cuisine, pasta, pizza. This is their iced tea. Mm. Oh, very nice, very tangy. Very, oh, that's good. I love that in India, so many salad options include a hot roasted veg option like this one. This is the roasted veggie salad. Very nice. Up next, we have the cashew pesto on spaghettini. Looks really nice. Fresh and green and tangy. I'm gonna add just a hint of salt but way better to be short on salt than it is to have too much. So, yeah, really nice. Basic, well-executed dish. Would recommend. The vegan option for pizza, it's a cheeseless pizza with tofu, capsicum, and a lot of it, zucchini, and eggplant. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Really nicely cooked. The crust is pretty darn nice. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoning to it, but delicious over. Pizza, pasta, and a bowl of root vegetables, plus an iced tea, 1239. That is um, 20 bucks. So like a hint more than normal, but not that much more. And uh, the quality of the food was really good. 
the uh, ambiance is really nice. Plates are big and heavy and proper, like restaurant dishes. Plenty vegetarian restaurant on Oroville Road, the same owners as Tanto. First up, lemon soda. It's lemony and fizzy. We have just received our first pizza. It's the marinara. It's got uh, fresh garlic. It's got fresh tomato, tomato sauce. And it's all on a thin crust pizza. I'm going to bite it now. It's a nice little bit of spice. If you like tomato, you're gonna love tomato on this. It's tomato garlicky goodness. I am going to season it with some of the oregano and other spices, but still a solid choice. I think I would add the vegan cream to it next time just to give it that extra depth. But this is the sadna. Sadna's got uh, zucchini, red onion, capsicum peppers, jalapenos, olives, kind of like a veggie lover's spicy vibe. Doing nothing to it, just eating it. Spicy. This one tastes like a classic veggie lovers type pizza. You know those classic vegetarian pizzas you get where you got all the stuff on there, olives and onions and green peppers? This tastes like a nice garden medley of vegetables. Nice toppings. These are a thin crust oven fired pizza. Um, the vegetables are roasted nicely on there, so it's really flavorful. I'm sure you can add the, the vegan cream to it. So I would have probably done that with this one. Still delicious though, still recommending it. Now we're just waiting for a sandwich. And I was like, I thought it was a pizza sandwich pizza, but it's actually just a sandwich. So we're not waiting for another pizza, we're waiting for a sandwich. Well, the sandwich has just arrived, and isn't it interesting? It's uh, a double thin pizza crust with nice stuff on the inside. I'm gonna pull one apart for you so you can see. Just a bunch of delicious pizza toppings and some of the cream. This looks real good. Let's give it a taste. Real nice. Really nice. Creamy. Veg. Tastes like the last pizza, but with some cream and a nice sandwich format. The bread, uh, the thin crust on top, is salted and uh, poked a little bit so it stays nice, nice and flat and crispy. Quite nice. Quite nice. Recommend. There you go, vegan pizza. Woo! So as you know, this area has no shortage of gelato. Obviously, Gelato Factory is a huge favorite around here, but we had occasion to try uh, Cafe 73's Gelato, which was at the Oroville Visitor Center yesterday when we had their mango and lemon hibiscus flavor. So, we're here at the cafe where we had those burgers the other day and we're trying their mango and dark chocolate flavor. Mango, we already know, is delicious. We had it yesterday. Mmm. And the dark chocolate. The dark chocolate is great. Plus, you can sit underneath this uh, sculpture of a motorcycle robot guy. I got Cafe 73's brand new sandwich. This is roast veggie and hummus sandwich. It doesn't come with fries, so I suggest you order them. I just assumed you would. I don't know why I did. But uh, yeah, it's really good. Roasted veg, hummus on bread. Simple, but very tasty. And Natalia has got the cutlet, the bean cutlet dinner. The bean cutlet is just the, is just the bean burger um, patties, two of them, plus fries and a salad. And that's the sunbeam burger patty. So if you like that bean patty with the crispy outside and the soft middle, that's what you're getting right there. We had another great food. We had the gelato earlier. We had the uh, Suzuki Samurai Burger. All excellent. Give it a shot. And I would say uh, a, a medium strong, moderate recommendation for this one. It's not fully vegan, but they have uh, three, four, five vegan options plus two types of gelato. So there you have it. You can eat vegan food in Oroville until the cows come home. Get it? The cows are going home. So that's, that's why I said that. Remember, 
they want to live and be mothers and you don't have to eat their cheese, their milk, their flesh. Look at all these things you can get right up and down one little street here in India. Do it. Bye. Oh, sorry. For vegan everywhere. I'm David.